for Norman, uh, he required a, a minimally invasive operation, arthroscopy, uh, and it was more rotator cuff pathology. Uh, he had a unique form of rotator cuff damage, uh, but still very treatable through the minimally invasive technique. I was really limited on what I could do. And uh, if I tried to do anything uh, that was at all strenuous, um, then I just couldn't do it because of the pain. I was very anxious to get it taken care of. During the dialogue with Norman, uh, both in his initial evaluation and throughout his care, I was very specific and, and, and detailed in explaining to him how important the rotator cuff is for normal shoulder function. Uh, he's a gentleman who enjoys his golf game. He enjoys the normal activities with, with his wife and with his grandchildren. And so uh, the rotator cuff plays an, uh, a real big role in just daily activities. And without a healthy rotator cuff, your shoulder won't ever work exactly right. When I met Dr. Markman, uh, he was very personable, very pleasant, and of course, if he was going to take care of my problem, I, I quite liked him. <laughs> so Norman is, you know, a poster child for, for rotator cuff repair surgery, and uh, he has certainly had a very smooth recovery, and uh, even now he's um, getting back to more normal lifestyle, and at this point I would expect him to continue to just improve for at least another six to 12 months. No, life was fine. Um, after about four weeks, I was able to drive the car again and uh, started being able to write. So we've been very pleased and my wife uh, loved Dr. Markman because as I said before, he explained everything very well uh, in layman terms so that you understand what he's saying. My approach to patient care overall is one where I, I really feel that as long as you address your patient with respect, you give them the time, you give them the eye contact, and make sure they understand that you are there at that time in the room for them, it really helps put the patient's mind at ease.